now it's all done it's all watered um, it's looking good I didn't show you our sweet potato we've got this whole bed of sweet potato up to the end we are using it as a uh, nursery as well as um, um, just to grow for eating if we get some sweet potato we'll eat it and also we'll benefit from the nursery when it's rain season we just come here and um, get our shoots from here then we go and plant in the garden so this is how it's looking now this maize is doing great this is doing just fine just fine it's only a few weeks old probably three weeks yeah and it's growing like i said earlier this part of the garden is the most fatal uh, <clears throat> place in our garden this corner bit because uh, i've done a video before about um how we we, we got this um area to be fertile it was because before we before we did anything in this yard it used to be a, 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 a water flow water used to flow from up there from the neighboring house coming down and it was settling here because it was a bit lower up to the corner of the greenhouse up the corner of the yard uh, that's where all the fertile soil was being um, uh, put it was traveling all the way from the corner of the yard or from outside to this area that's when it became fertile so we don't struggle a lot with this area especially when it's maize it grows very very well even when we did our cabbages this area was 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 really good this area was good so I've, um, i'm done watering uh, so today the whole day since morning i've been watering the garden i watered this whole side uh, this whole side going into the greenhouse going uh, around this lawn here i watered everything like proper proper watering from the top of the garden to the bottom this area i watered the top there and the lawn at the near the houses we haven't planted anything in this in these beds yet we haven't got anything to put yet uh, we are going to put some more seeds going to do a bit of nursery in the coming week or so so that we fill all these beds with something uh, we only got a few which have uh, cabbages and onions uh, guys we don't buy anything in this household something that we can grow we have cabbages here this is half bed there and uh, we have three full beds here of cabbages and we have got uh, onions two beds of uh, king onions here these ones and we've got this empty one it's not empty we planted some cucumbers we've tried cucumbers two times but i think it's the timing with the spraying that we were not doing very well um sometimes we were not available to spray uh, it takes only a few days for the aphids to affect the whole thing uh so you really need to be on the ball you need to be up to date with your fumigating with your spraying because these aphids will play a big role uh, in affecting your crops so this is the whole area that i that i watered this morning and these tomatoes guys i'm not sure you can see they are orange it's not that they are ripe in they have this color which we have been struggling with sometimes it, it becomes orange sometimes it doesn't they grow and ripe well sometimes it becomes orange so we don't know we don't really know what's happening with this with these tomatoes but we we don't buy tomatoes for the past eight months now we, we were calculating it yesterday when we first um, when we first uh, uh, harvest 
our tomatoes it was around um november around november that's when we started you know harvesting these tomatoes you can see from the videos that i did before uh, that they, they are quite old that's when we started and we are still harvesting we haven't stopped they are still growing some of them obviously we lost them some of them are still thriving they are still growing yeah so this is what we are doing guys the purpose of my videos is not i know some people who think oh what's new about growing vegetables what's new about growing maize it's nothing new yes but to some people it's very new the aim of my video is to encourage that person or those people who are, um, who are trying or who are um, thinking of relocating it doesn't matter where you're relocating from relocating is relocating it comes with its own challenges so uh, some of the challenges are people are afraid to start all over again some people may think they can't afford it some people they think they will struggle some people will think so many so many so many things so um it doesn't matter you are relocating from the town if you're coming from a rare big cities going to smaller cities it's relocating if you're coming from big cities going to the village like we did it's relocating uh, so relocating doesn't matter where we're coming from although it tends to target more uh, on people who are in the diaspora because that's where they face a lot of challenges they have lived in the diaspora for years 30 years 20 years 15 years and starting all over again they also think of how they started all over when they went abroad and they will think it's the same same challenges that they will face when they come back so the aim of my video is to encourage them is just to show them that these things are possible you can still relocate you can start small i didn't start big i didn't build a, build a mansion i just came to live in that small cottage behind there although well, most people don't want me to say it's a cottage um but that's where i started that's where i am still in we built it big enough so that we we, we have enough space for ourselves that's where i started guys you don't have to have a mansion just have land that's all you need land build a comfortable small house we, you don't need a big house this especially these days you don't need a big house you don't need a big house you just need small as long as it's comfortable for you and your family so that's how we started um this is our maze i'm showing it weekly this is this week guys it has changed so much look how big it has grown it has grown big yeah so in a few weeks time we'll be enjoying this corn uh, it's a small portion yes i know some people may think oh it's only a small portion what is you showing us it's very important to show this because uh, very soon we'll start doing it on bigger portions um it was just trials to see if this really work yeah so i just thought i say some of the things people may be thinking when they when they uh when they view my videos they may think it's just for especially if you haven't watch my videos from the beginning you you won't know my journey you won't know my beginning you won't know how i began but if you watched me from the beginning from the first video you see i relocated from the uk coming here to mutoko in the village uh, it was a shock to many many people were shocked uh, they were asking why i didn't move to sit to a big city yes we do have properties in the big city but we thought what can we be doing we can't just be sitting there without any income so we decided to re relocate to um to this village um so uh i just thought i say this these things guys so if you are new to this channel you know the aim of, of why i do these videos why i show you growing lawn you may think oh it's just lawn what is she showing off for yeah for those who know for those who started with me 
they are very happy to see those videos they are very happy to see me grow any any little thing they are very happy to see any little improvement they are also very happy to see any challenges that i may be facing especially they want to know the challenges that i may be facing so i'll be showing videos of challenges i'll be showing you videos of um uh, me doing well you know so I, I just don't have to show you only good things or only bad things no that may or that may discourage someone who is thinking of relocating so yeah guys um this is it for now i can't take my eyes off this area it's just lovely i'm falling in love with this area uh, it's a pity we, we couldn't afford to buy fertilizer that's why i'm saying please share my videos please watch my videos to the end you can even if you don't like my voice you can leave it running just for the sake of you know watching it um so that i can get at least that one view and um uh guys there is just before i go there's someone who put a comment on one of my videos she said or he said i'm sure it's a I don't know i can't judge let me not judge um i can't say it's a male or a female the person said what's the point of speaking english when um uh only people in zimbabwe will be watching these videos i don't know who told them that my videos are only from people who come from zimbabwe even if it's for people who come from zimbabwe some people do not speak shona some people do not speak the language that i speak so english is just the, the language to use if you want your videos to capture um a wide um range of um uh, areas a wide range of places countries and stuff like that i watch videos from kenya especially i watch video, videos from like i watch videos from nigeria kenya um ghana and uh, also uh, what's this other country that has got a lot of farming going on in small farms small villages um they they are doing quite well as well i watched them if they were speaking their their language how would i have uh, had this 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 inspiration because some of my inspiration came from those people who are doing very well in the villages so if they didn't speak english how was i going to learn how was i going to like it how was i going to be encouraged so, so there's just some people who are i don't want to say this word dumb but I, i've just said it uh, to come in and, and, and put such a comment to say um why why do you speak in english because your videos are only watched by as if my videos are only watched by people from zimbabwe even if they are from zimbabwe the thing is not everyone in zimbabwe speaks shona so you need to get it in your head the reason why i speak in english is because i can capture a lot of viewers from different parts of the world some people may not even thinking of coming to africa but they just enjoy watching what's happening in africa they just enjoy knowing what what other people do how they do it in their countries so if you want to capture a small um a small area you can go ahead do your videos in your language you can also capture um a small area so i've watched videos where they speak their language and they're doing nice things and i'm like oh my god so like the other day i was watching a video i had to go on each comment and press the translation button so that i know what they were talking about but it doesn't you, you don't get everything because you're getting it from the comments you're not getting it from the video from the person who is doing the video so yeah i just thought i pass a comment and also to let you guys know that my target market or my target people is not just um people in zimbabwe and it's not just people in the diaspora it's for everybody who is thinking of relocating who is thinking of going to start a small to, to start something but they are scared to start they think they need to start big they think they need to start uh, building a beautiful mansion like those that we see um people building in the cities 
uh, so it's it's not like that so if if you really um get inspiration from my videos please say it in, in the comment section and another thing is i want you guys to tell me what um you want to see because sometimes i don't even know what to show you sometimes i even forget to take videos of things that are happening then i'll think about it after the, something has happened and i'm like i can't take a video anymore because it's, it's gone it's gone so if you guys communicate with me interact with me in the comment section telling me what you uh, expect to see me showing you what you expect whatever you want me to show you that i can do i'll do videos for you guys yeah so today i've talked a lot um sometimes my videos are quite short and i don't talk a lot in my videos i don't um have much to say uh something that i need to start doing uh saying a lot uh because you guys may pick one or two things that things that uh, may be of use to yourselves in your farms in your home households and everywhere yeah so this is it guys it's uh almost sunset in mtoka it's quite hot guys um it's not very it's not very cold in mtoko during the day we are fine we don't need jackets we only need jackets when the sun is really gone down that's when we need jackets so it's june today is 10 june 2024 uh, i've got some videos that i did during the rain season that i'll be showing you just so you know what we went through and the struggles and the you know it was drought this year so um, we did plant we did a lot of farming that i'll be showing you cheers for now see you in my next video bye